This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Mapson. Over the centuries, water has eroded Florida's limestone bedrock. Today, it's a Swiss cheese of tunnels and flowing springs. Meet a group of explorers that lives to probe these submerged caverns. Little by little, they are mapping this labyrinth and penetrating the mysteries of Wukala. These aren't weekend warriors, but some of the best divers in the world. Divers like Jill Heinrich. There's no other woman in the world that's doing this kind of diving at this depth, so it's sort of exciting for me. And Vietnam veteran Mark Meadows. If the danger wasn't there, then the thrill wouldn't be there either. You don't get one without the other. The team is led by veteran explorer Dr. Bill Stone. This is raw exploration. That is what drives most of our underwater teams onward. Cave diving is considered by some to be the most dangerous sport in the world. Since 1960, North Florida's caves have taken the lives of some 300 divers. It's all too easy to get lost. To better understand the risk, I join some of the divers. After detailed safety instructions, the safety reel, I drag 125 pounds of gear into Jenny Springs. Compared to Wakala, it's a cakewalk. But even this simple dive has lessons for me. Minutes in, I make an error that has killed divers in caves. As I squeeze my way through a narrow opening, my clawing and kicking stir up silt from the bottom. I finally make it. But when I turn around, I can't see. The tunnel I just swam through will take hours to clear. Without my guideline, I would have no chance of finding my way out. I'd either get lucky or run out of air in the darkness. This project, supported in part by the National Geographic Society, aims to generate the world's first digital three-dimensional map of an underwater cave system. The team has already mapped portions of the cave, but recent silty water has kept them from getting any further. It's true. It's true. The next mapping dive falls to Mark and Jill. My task is to help prep the bell that will bring the divers out of the water at the end of the mission. There's also a, a tight sling in the roof. Goodbye, sweet little. Trapped in this metal canister, I get a sense of the alien world that Jill and Mark will explore. We're at 80 feet. 80 feet of We're at 80 feet. 80 feet. Okay in the bell, Rich. Okay in the bell. Nice and warm in here. With everything in place, the team starts their dive. They will have to drive this cumbersome mapping device which pings the wall of the springs with rays of sonar to create a fully three-dimensional map of the tunnels. All right, looks like uh, they're off on the mission now. About 14 minutes from uh, starting the dive, they're uh, entering the cave. A thousand feet into the tunnel, Wakala Springs confronts them with an unexpectedly strong current so strong it overpowers the scooters. The divers must push them to make progress. Mark and Jill are highly experienced cave divers. 
but other expert divers have lost their lives in situations like this. The team decides to struggle on, moving deeper into the labyrinth. Topside, the rest of the team awaits. At last, the flash of a dive light. Jill and Mark have made it back safely. They struggle into the diving bell and are soon at the surface for their long decompression. But the mission is a huge success. They just pulled in the biggest catch of yeah. data we've had this expedition. <laughs> a plus. Bill's team achieved its goal, a three-dimensional map of Wakulla Springs. For the first time, people like me who can't possibly dive Wakulla can enter these mysterious waters. But for Bill, there are other blank spaces to map, other frontiers to explore. Exploration is a physical process of putting your foot in places where humans have never stepped before. This is where the last little nugget of totally unknown territory remains on this planet. To experience it is a privilege. <laughs> 